So here is the small bridge ad content. I'm not going to do a full rendering here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up the rendering dialog box. So if you haven't taken a look at Connect Edition and the rendering tools here, you can see here that we still have the same rendering tools here, right? We have our camera, we have our lighting, we have our material, we have our rendering, we have our utilities right here, and we have our dump to Luminar T as well over here. Also, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the materials box here. So I'm going to show you the differences here in the materials box. Uh, you can see that the materials box looks very, very similar. It looks like the same materials box that we had. There's a couple new things here. You'll see this little button right here on the end. That is for my PBR materials, my physically based rendering. I also have one of our old blocks and bricks. So you can see the V8 icon here. This is a pallet that we deliver through Bentley. And like I said, we've converted those all to the PBR materials. So if you open this up, you can see these little circles by there. Don't get freaked out by having the little circle by there. That just means that it's a PBR material. I can use it as is, or I can use it as a PBR material. It doesn't really matter. I assign everything the same way. I map everything the same way. I can adjust everything the same way. No difference. Again, in the smooth rendering, I'm going to be able to see the metals and the reflections and reflections and that. I won't be able to see the ecosystems, though. I don't know if we have any intent on working on that or not, but you can't see the ecosystems. I do have inside my materials here, view ecosystems. So I created this palette here. These ecosystems I created inside of the view standalone product. And up here, I had fur, right? So you see Creek Bank, no fur. I had a material up here. I basically just went in and turned them off. That's all I did. And then I switched the assignment from this. I just dragged and dropped it into the new Creek Bank material that I created in the View Standalone product. So all I did was just reassign it. That's all I did. It's very, very simple. I created a new palette. I called the palette View Ecosystems. I created the material in View. And I dragged and dropped it right into the palette. That's all you have to do. It's a drag and drop. I just dragged and dropped it in here. Like I said, I'm going to create a workflow document that shows you exactly how to do that. And like I said, we are going to deliver some ecosystems for you guys to use. To what extent, I don't know yet, but I'd like some input. How about that? All right. So what we're going to do here is, so this basically hasn't changed. We've added one button, the, the PBR materials, uh, and that's about it. But if you take a look at you know some of the materials that we've used here, it is... You know, basically the same. We've got the same settings. we got the same everything inside of here. So we can just take a look at all of those. Uh, I still have view descriptions and show material attachments in my references. That's a, a kind of a new one, too. But I still have kind of the same settings for any one of these materials here. Oh, we'll go to the general tab. There we go. So you can see I have all the same settings, all the same things. You should be used to that if you've done view rendering or if you've done Luxology rendering. You should be used to this. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.